Yeah, we're playing the whole thing. I don't feel bad about it. I know we don't deserve it. So what? So what? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. You're not gonna do shit about it. So we're gonna, we're gonna let it ride out, man. We'll let it ride out. How rare do you see that? You just saw a unicorn flying through the sky on fire. Can we turn this off, please? Yeah, it's good, man. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what do you want me to say? Hmm? I know we should just keep Bam running through this thing the entire time. But, you know, we got a show to do, and I really wanna, don't want to like, hang out here the whole time, and I know, I know he's got shit to do, so Bam, please, thank you very much for everything you do. You rock on with your Bam, so. He cultura, he cultura, he cultura, he cultura, da 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 However you say it, that's how you say it. Now and forever, I don't make the rules. I just make up the rules. I am Studio Mogura, Studio M-O-G-U-R-A. Hit me up at the PayPal. Hit me up at the Cash App. All donations go toward the making of my independent film and my independent animated pilot. Check out my book, Full Moon Nights, available on Amazon. For the soft cover, available on Barnes & Noble for the hardcover. A chronicle of the Miami rave scene in the early 2000s. Check out my comic shop and my blog, octotaco.com. Check out my tea public. Get the official t-shirt, He Cultura t-shirt. Also check out my other designs. And check out my Spotify playlist, El Topo. Going back all the way to 1999 to last year with my latest release, The Reflection Blinds You From Seeing The Truth. Support. First and foremost, support. Always support. Share. You don't even have to listen. Share. Hey, check this out. There you go. Tell me if it's good. Zooming through because I don't want to spend a lot of time here because I was drawing and I broke where I'm drawing because I was drawing in the middle of the watch it, well, watching the game and uh, and I and I had to do it because I didn't do it the last two times. I already 67. But I, I missed a couple of times and I'm sorry. But my bad. What are you going to do? We're fucking losing a goddamn fucking Detroit business, bro. We're fucking, we're fucking dying here, bro. I mean, shit's not good. I don't give a fuck what, I mean, if these guys come in and they fucking pull some Milagro shit out their ass again, like, heaven fucking help us, bro. Yeah, people are gonna fucking really say and believe que estamos haciendo trabajo aquí. Because let's be real, that's miracle shit. We're staring at miracle shit right now. Like, we're just real individuals, people. We are we, we are real beings on, these, on this rock floating through Time and space. We know it's this is difficult. This is a lot to ask. I know. It is. A lot to ask. So I'm just like Trying to hold back, trying to taper myself, trying to be like, mm, you know, just, you know, don't get, don't, don't drink too much ooze, bro. Just drink the ooze so you enjoy the ride. And that's what we just got to do. Just got to drink enough ooze to get us through the year. See what happens at the end. And if at the end it warrants it, and then we drink more ooze. And we drink ooze together. We don't drink ooze like, uh, you know, I'm taking a shot. No, no, we're not just, you know, drinking ooze and. And hoping other people are, are and, and they're not, you know. No, we're we we're all together drinking news, and we know we're all drinking news. We're not lying to it. We're not lying to each other about it. You know, right now I feel like it's just you know some people are lying, some people are drinking it, some people are not. I myself and I take sips and then I I throw it away and I don't want it anymore. I just don't want it anymore, man. I, I'm just done with it, bro. It's just like so much. It's just too much, man. But then it's, and then, and you know, and then you do something, and it's like, I gotta drink some more ooze. It's like the stuff, you know, you just gotta, you gotta have some more. A couple of days pass, 
I need some juice. I need, I need, I need some ooze. You gotta feel the ooze. You gotta become the ooze. This was an ooze game. Well, we were drinking ooze, and then they took the ooze away from us. <laughs> And then they gave you the best ooze we've had in a really long time. This, this was really good ooze. I like this ooze. Are you drinking the ooze? Because I know you drank some today. You had to drink some today because look at this. Look what happened. That was that's that was ooze. That was good ooze. That ooze has been fermenting for a couple games, for three games now. Every time Bam takes a three, he was he was making this was his own personal batch of ooze. This was Bam. This was bamboos. This was bamboos. Bamboos. That's what we were drinking today. We were drinking bamboos. It tastes very, it tastes pretty good. Uh, this is good. Teddy, way better than Teddy Rozier's shit that he was, you know, like passing every. Hey guys, look at I bought, and it's like fucking dollar, fucking ooze. That's like not even ooze. It's like you know, it's it's like a you know, like a wine cooler or some shit. Not to knock wine coolers, but you know, let's knock them. I don't even, it's just, look, we just gotta, like, survive to the end at this fucking point. We gotta, got, we got, we've, we've preached this for long enough. It's just crazy that we're almost here at the end. And we really, really have to, to we have to, we have to, um, we just gotta make it, man. We just gotta make it to the end. That's it. It's all. I just gotta make it to the end, and we just gotta make it healthy. We've preached it all year long. The goal is to make it healthy at the end. Right now, hero is in limbo. People want to cut him off. People want to trade him. People we gotta get rid of him because so yeah. And they're just like you're just such a heartless person, dude. You're heartless. You're just just. What are you doing? Why can't you just just stick with the kid? Well, okay, so he's got he's to get healthy. Let's get the kid fucking healthy. Let's fix him, because he's got talent. If they're able to fix uh, Steph Curry's ankles so that he became what he is today, we can, we can fix Hero. Okay? Like, Tommy John surgery is like, you know, getting a fucking tooth removed at some point. You know, like, that's how it is now. It's like, that's how it is now. I mean, like, compare it to, like, what it was in the past, it was like almost career ending. Just the same way like the, 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 the knee was in football. Guys are coming back from that now. I mean, it's just, we're getting better at it, you know? Still a problem, still not fixed. It's not on 100% for everybody, but still, it's a lot better than when it was before. And we can fix you. <laughs> everybody scream. Everybody scream. Everybody scream. Uh, we just have to keep our head down and forward. Just win these games. Win whatever we thank God. I mean, you know, I don't even want to say, honestly, they keep saying that we had we have an easy schedule. And we are we supposedly have an easy schedule. And I don't think people are really taking everything into account when they say that. Because to say you have an easy schedule, right, is to say that you're going against teams that are just going to give up, you know, and they're not going to try. And we're not really facing teams that are going to give up and are not going to try. Okay, like, yes, the Pistons are a bad team. And they have a bad record. They haven't won many games. But because they haven't won many games, they are going to play so hard in these last couple games. Maybe at the very end, 
they they'll fucking give up. But you know, if dudes are like, "Yo, I gotta play because I want to make sure I have a contract here next year," some guys are gonna be like trying to play. Same with the NFL. It's, it's, it's no longer like, oh, these games really don't matter. At the same time, the league has started to set up the same way the NFL has started to set up that the first couple games, the first games and the last games are like the most exciting games. So they're doing a lot of matchups. So we have a lot of division matchups at the very end. It's just that it happens to be against Toronto. You know, it happens to, against to be uh, 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 the 76ers who are still fighting. The 76ers are still fighting. And we're going to see them. We're going to see Cleveland. Those guys are in the middle of it. This is not... Again, we've gone over it a bunch of times. We're, we're still got to see the Pelicans against who, uh, who, who definitely want to whip our asses. We gotta still, we're going to see the Warriors. Warriors are fighting. Warriors are fighting. The Knicks, one more time, they're fighting. The Wizards and the Rockets... Okay, sure, those are those are easy wins, but do you, are they going to roll over? Do you think they're going to roll over for us after we've beaten them all year? No, they're going to want to at least kick our ass again. They don't want us to win. Pacers, they're in it. The Hawks, I think they're fighting. I don't know. I don't know. Who, it's the Hawks. Who gives a shit, right? Fuck them. Just take them all back. No one needs them anymore. I gotta change that team. I know. I, I don't want to say that because I like the Hawks. I like the logo. I guess you know. I don't know what to tell you about the Hawks. They just it's a good city because it's a good basketball city. They just did it better. But I don't want them to have better because then we won't beat them. So it's alright. They should just become Heat fans. Let's be real. And then we gotta face the Mavericks again, and then we end it with the Raptors. This is not as easy as people claim it to be. It's not easy. It's the bottom half, but it's the bottom half that's like fighting. So we have got to make sure that we just keep our spot. For the love of God, bro, if we we got, I don't, I don't even want to say we're gonna get to, uh, we gotta get to six or 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 get out of the playing game. I would love to say to get out of the playing game. Of course. Do you have confidence that we're gonna get out of the playing game? Because I don't. Right now, no. We're 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 gonna end up eight. Have to play. We're gonna have to at least play. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to, man. And you know, if we do, man, it's gonna it's gonna be that kind of shit where like last year, well, we'll lose the first one and have to fucking fight for our lives again because that's what this team loves to do. It doesn't about they love to throw themselves into the pit of sharks and fucking poisonous snakes and. Fucking crocodiles and alligators fighting for survival you know, with fucking anaconda panthers. Uh, uh, anaconda panthers who have been devoured by pythons. That is what the heat like to face. Okay. That's what they love. They love that shit. Oh, yeah, you know, let's go on an adventure with nothing. With the very minimum. And you know what? Let's just. Face the hardest thing, the hardest boss we've had to face. Let's go. Put the difficulty all the way up. I don't know. I think I'm breaking because I, I just I just want him to make the playoffs at this fucking point. I don't know if we're going to make it healthy, man. The hero is a mystery. But I'm just gonna still remain confident that he's gonna be available at the playoffs. And if you know, that's why we gotta make it. Maybe that's why they're keeping him out. Don't know what to tell you, because lot, you know how the Heat are. They, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not gonna say anything. I don't wanna say anything. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say. We're not gonna say anything. But we're going to say this one thing. And I told you this before. We know how we can win these games now. We know it. Uh, we've talked about it here before. Check out the previous episodes. You know we have. You know we have. All the heat have to do is get 
Duncan Robinson's 20. Now, I ask you, listeners in the void, supporters in the darkness, between the waves of air and radio, what was Duncan Robinson doing today? How much did Duncan Robinson have today? 30 points. Was there a win today? Yes. This is how we do it. You have to strap him down, take a belt and just strap them all down, hold them down, and just take spoonfuls of Duncan Robinson, D-Rob, D-1000, Mr. K, and just feed them, and feed them Duncan Robinson, and keep feeding them, and feeding them, and keep feeding them, and feeding them, and keep feeding them, and keep feeding them, and keep feeding them. That is what we're going to have to do. Going to have to. Going to have to just really, really utilize him the way that hero is supposed to be utilized. Okay? Okay? Because Hero has one of the best mid-range games in the league. He has one of the best killer threes in the league. When he's hopping, when he's bouncing, I mean, he's a deadly player. We know this. We know he has so much potential. It's just he's had this mishap. And people want to be like, this guy's all injury prone all the time. And it's like, man, you know, it's so disappointing that you could see this kind of building. And, like, dude, people get hurt, man. People get hurt. And it's not like he's fucking just driving around South Beach fucking getting hurt. No, dude. That's that's injury prone. Hero's literally running on the court and slips on some shit. He's diving for a fucking loose ball. Hurts his hand. And, it's, and you know, you ain't calling him injury prone when he's fucking averaging nearly 30 fucking points a game. When he's fucking out there busting his ass during that time, you're not calling him injury prone then. You know, it's just, that's it. Let's look at the the draw, man. And we know that when, when we get this guy, when we get this guy at that right moment, it's gonna be good for us. That's what we're missing. Because it's it's a matter of getting, which, which is what we never really did when Struess was here. We just get Struess and Robinson on the court at the same time going crazy. Both of them at the same time. We never really could get that off. You know, and that's something that is really missing from this team because every single time when we need that extra guy, Hero hasn't been there. So it sucks because the credit is warranted. And I credit, I mean, the, 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 the criticism is warranted because it's like, Okay, I get it that he's been out when we needed him the most. I understand that. But you see it with your own eyes that it's not like he's just doing this on purpose. You shouldn't feel anger toward Hero. You shouldn't feel disdain. You shouldn't feel like, oh, we got to get rid of him. That's ridiculous. You should feel like, like sympathy, man. You should feel pain for them. You should feel like, fuck, this sucks. What do we need to do to get him healed up? And can Dwight, you know, do, ¿a dónde yo puedo mandarle unos flores? Unos chocolate, unos chocolate ahí para que se siente ahí hero, tranquilo, you know, para que tiene algo. Like, why are we saying that? No, people are like, well, gotta trade him, gotta get rid of him, gotta get something from him because, ah! And it's no. Reverse that. This is a guy with a lot of fucking potential, 
who's still super fucking young, dude. He's only like five years in the goddamn fucking league, and you're treating him like a 15-year fucking veteran. Fuck that. Yeah, okay, he's got to take, take the year off, get healed up, get healthy, come back. Make sure you're 100%. He were 100% coming back. He's going to fucking go crazy. At that point, because he's been in the league a while, he's, 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 he's probably bigger, put on more weight. I mean, come on. Like, be real. Stop thinking about getting rid of him and moving on from him and start thinking about how can we still use him here? Because he's not someone to give get, to just give up on yet. He's definitely not. He's not that kind of player that you're just going to give up on him yet. No. He has produced. That guy would carry us through seasons. He's had two big injuries this season. That's just like, yo, there's nothing you can do about it. He had the fucking ankle, and that was a fucking horrible ankle twist. And then now he has the fucking this knee shit. And then the knee went back to the fucking foot. Not gonna, I, I'm, I'm not gonna give up on Hero. I'm not. I don't think you should. I don't think this team should. I don't think the city should. You know, if it was fucking, you know, it's just weird because LeBron literally had almost like a decade where he didn't fucking win. And we were ready to just run him out of town. But you would take him. And this is a similar situation. This guy just has had bad luck with that shit. And that's fine. That's fine because whatever. Get him healthy. Make sure he's fucking as close to 100% or 800%. And, and we get him back. And we just roll, keep rolling with him. This is not a team that has a set fucking... This is not a team where it's like... Here are our guys, Right? And this is like our starting five, and that's it. This is right now. This is not a team like that. This is a team where it's like you're, you're going to face everybody on this fucking team. Okay, we are going to throw every single fucking person at you. At this team, we're going to do that. If we can fucking, if they can play, we're going to throw them at you. It's not like you're going to get ready. Right. We're going to have a... There's a set core, of course. And, and Hero is a part of that core at this point. He is a part of that core. But because we just interchange and we have multitude of lineups every fucking year, every, every game, there shouldn't be, like, a worry that some guy can't just, like, step in. But you don't get rid of this, this weapon. Because right now the weapon is just kind of malfunctioning. And we have to figure out some code for it. And it's just going to take a little minute before we can develop some app that can do this. And then develop this technology that can do this. And then go back and fix this. And then it can get it. That's all we're doing. Same thing. It's just a human being. And his name is Tyler Hero. He's got a personality. That's all it is. Terry Rozier. No, I, I, I know why they call him Scary Terry now. You know? We all know why. Because he just, just... You know, it's not that he's scary to the team. He's scary to us. He fucking scares you to the hell. Because you saw him at the end. You thought he was going to take the shot. That's why the entire Detroit, Detroit Pistons, the whole city... Me, you, everybody, everybody was like, oh, my God, Terry Rozier is going to take this shot, right? You know you were. You know you were. Don't lie to me. Don't, 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 don't look at me. Don't talk to me like that. Don't, 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 don't breathe like that. Don't act like that. Don't sit like that. Don't stand like that. Don't walk like that. Don't talk like that. Don't run like that. Don't eat like that. Don't jump like that. You know what you did. And what you did, because I did the same thing, and everybody in, in front of God, and todo mundo en, 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 en el mano de Dios, y el mundo, y en, in the universe. Everybody. Everybody thought Terry Rozier was going to take that shot. Because he'd been taking every other goddamn fucking shot and missing it. 
I mean, how many times did he just basically hold on to the ball and just dribble, 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 back and forth, dribble, 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 in the last, like, I know that Butler isn't playing. But when Butler is playing, isn't playing, it's not Terry Rozier's show. It's Bam's show. And look at how Bam had to. And he just he got it, and then he ended it. And he didn't have to do that. You know, it was great. It was awesome to see, but Bam didn't have to do that. Bam should not be put in that position. Bam should have already had, literally, Bam should have had basically 30 points. And it's just like Terry has moments where he's like, you see there's potential in him and he does have skill and he gets, he has a good shot. But I, 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 again, I know it's early. Again, I know he's still being kind of molded in and folded in. But, you know, it's going to, we, it's going to be interesting to see when Hero gets back and Kevin Love gets back. Um, how they are folded in to to this mix, you know, because when Hero is, as soon as Hero is ready, you, you know, send him up, send him up, get him up flying as soon as you can. Keep sending him up, just go, let's go, just like Top Gun, get him up there. I don't know. I don't know when, when he'd be back because you got to, like, imagine you, you don't know what the hell is really going on with him. And that's a, a real worry. That's the biggest worry to me is that there isn't, I don't really know if it's a foot. I don't think it's a foot. I think the knee was, was a lot worse than what. But he said he was fine. He said it was it was it was a lot scary. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we're maybe I'm just you know you know one of those. But uh, this is just weird. The, the the succession. I don't know. So I'm just not gonna really worry about it at this point. I know that we have this this weapon in the making, and this guy's gotta like you know get back on track. And while he's doing that, there's no point to be like, "Where is your?" No. So let's just roll with what we have, and we've got we've got enough. We've got enough that we could, we should be able to compete and win games. I don't want, I don't want to hear, "Oh my God, we're missing Hero, we're missing Kevin Love." No, no, no. We've got guys that can make shots, bro. You guys, guys are just you know going through it, I guess. And this is a down. You know, we gotta like make sure. That when the wave, you know how like a sound wave goes, like it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up, you know? And sometimes the up is like really up for a long time, you know, and then it like goes down, right? So we got to catch the upside when we're going into the playoffs. And right now, it just it's obvious it seems we're on a, we are on a downside. There is still enough games left that we can get a good streak going, a good vibe going. This is going to be a very important game, a very important win for the for the Heat because it's just going to energize us. And it's going to energize us going into the 76ers, which is a, a, an important game to stomp these motherfuckers so we could take make sure we take their spot. Okay? Because right now... They're right underneath us, you know, and we got to make sure we, you know, we are better than them. The, we let the Pacers slip above us. We got to make sure we show people that we're better than them when we play them later in, on the 7th, okay? So uh, tomorrow is a fucking massive fucking game, massive fucking game. Massive fucking game because that's going to set the tone for the fourth when they come down here to play and they try and be like, oh, shit, we got to take at least one game from them or else we're fucked. You know, because they're still trying to make the playoffs without a fucking, without a beat. And I think that they can at least get the eighth spot. But right now, you know, we got the seventh spot. And I, and we are, 
<clears throat> we all know that when we're whole, we're, we can compete with the top three. But right now, we are not whole. But right now, there's no way that this team, with all its injuries and every and these key guys that we're missing, are we gonna like really be able to? We're not. We're just not. So the whole goal is just getting to the playoffs and being as healthy as possible. That's just that's all we gotta do. We've been preaching it all season long, all he could do it along. There's no reason to change now. There's no reason to freak out now. Well, maybe just a little bit, but just a little bit in a good way. Okay? Because we have we have found the formula. We have to trust in Butler Al Gaib. We have to trust in Ben Muadib. We have to trust in that hero will make it back. And he'll make it back healthy and he's gonna and, and he'll be getting into rhythm at the start of the playoffs. You know? And that's all we can ask for at this point. We're not, I'm not we can't sit here and fucking demand, oh, we want him to take the number two spot or no 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 no. We just wanna really, really honestly try to get into the fucking top into the number six spot. Six or five. You know? Six, we end up facing the Cavs, which is not gonna be easy at all. Because we're gonna face the Cavs now. And facing the Cavs now, I think it's going to be a real test to be like, okay, well, you know, if we beat them, the times that we beat them, which is we're going to face them, I think, twice, or is it three times? It's twice, man. That's twice. So that is, I mean, this that's a big motherfucking game because that's, that's two games that these motherfuckers can fall. And that's two games that we can gain. And then on the 76ers, we got to win these games. And it's going to be so incredibly hard for us to win these games without Butler, without any of our guys. So thank God we could beat and we could win this game sitting Butler and sitting Kevin Love. Because I guarantee you that when Butler does get back, you know Bam's going to miss one of these games. Bam has got to miss one of these games coming up. Probably the Rockets or or maybe even Golden State. No, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so, bro, because he'd want to play that shit. Maybe Trailblazers. Maybe the Rockets. Maybe the Hawks. He'll be like, fuck it. Or probably one of those Raptor games. He'll definitely be like, I'm not playing. You know, and that's, he's, Bam's going to have to get it off. And by then, you got to have the uh, Butler back. And we just got to hope to hell that, like, rap, rap, the, those last two Raptor games, that Hero's back those two games. And he uses those two games to get back on track. And if he comes back those two games to get back on track, we can also maybe sit, bam, in the game and get some rest for the other guys. I'm pretty sure Caleb's going to fucking miss a game. But hopefully not, man, because Caleb's been playing great. But Caleb has been getting every, every game. There's been a, a game where Caleb has just been getting massacred and getting a no call so that's why i'm like caleb's gonna miss a game at some point you know so that's it's just there's no reason to fucking flip out on that shit anymore you know we just gotta make it to the end get a spot and then get and make it to the end relatively healthy dude you know where our guys can come out either 80 percent. guys are gonna miss games during the playoffs too come on Remember how fucking Butler missed the fucking game in New York and then he went to New York and they lost and then they came here and, you know, then we fucking beat them? Game six. Yeah, you know. Remember, people are going to miss games in the, during the playoffs. It's fine. Um, so, <clears throat> that said, we are going to wrap this one up. Um, yeah, man. Uh, we will... I guess tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow for 7.30. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong game. Oh, no, yeah, same thing, but I was just looking at the wrong game. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, 7.30, so we'll be here. We'll be here tomorrow, again, one more time. You know how it is. 
So, uh, yeah. We will, uh, we gotta, that's what, I don't know, man. We just, hopefully we pull it off. It's gonna be another tough game. It's gonna be another close game. It's, uh, it's not gonna be easy right now, dude. You know, so, uh, any, uh, any thought that it's going to be like, oh, okay, we're going to rip through everybody. No, 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 no. We are facing tough teams right now. You know, teams are going to fight. But they're teams that we can put away. The next game is going to be a very interesting game. Uh, and, of course, all the 76 games. But most importantly, the Cavs games are going to be the biggest games that we have right now. We got we to gotta, we gotta really put away the Cavs. We got to really – that's going to be hard, uh, especially in the state that we're in. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. But uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, he cultura, he cultura, he cultura, he cultura, he cultura. He cultura. However you say it, that's how you say it. Now and forever, I don't make the rules. I just make the rules. I am Studio Mogul, Studio M-O-G-U-R-A. Hit me up at the PayPal, hit me up at the Cash App. All donations go toward the making of my independent film and my independent animated pilot. Check out my book, Full Moon Nights, available on Amazon, available on Barnes & Noble for the hardcover. Chronicle of the Miami Rape Scene in the early 2000s. Adventures as a raver, running him around in Miami in the early years. Check it out. Check out also my comic shop and my blog, octotaco.com. Also check out my Tee Public with the official Hikotura t-shirt and my other designs, including the uh, Levitar Afilador, which everybody loves. And then also check out my Spotify playlist, uh, which has my entire disc discography uh, dating, dating back till 1999. Up until last year, with my latest release, The Reflection Blinds You From Seeing The Truth. Okay, so please support. Check that out. Listen, listen, listen. Watch, watch, watch. Share, share, share. That's all I can ask. That's all I ask. It really doesn't cost you anything. It costs you something if you want to like actually donate. But you know, you can also share the links and there you go, check this guy out. Okay, he does this stuff. I think you like techno music. There you go. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you very much. Ah, that's, you can do that. It's fine. But really, honestly, support. Support in some way if you if you hear this. You know, because it, it's hard out here. We're dying. We're fucking dying, man. Well, not really, but I mean, well, kind of. I mean, it's, it's every day, bro. I mean, it's just like you don't ever know what the fuck's, you know what I mean? So, you know how it is. Uh, so we'll be back here tomorrow after the game. Don't freak out. Just freak out. Thank you.